Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And today, if you guys, is a pretty crazy Evil Dead news update. And if you guys know me and horror, I'm not, I'm, I'm a fan of horror to an extent. Uh, one of my, I guess, first horror franchises ever was Evil Dead. Uh, Echo Killshot was like, hey, you gotta watch Evil Dead. And I was like, all right, fine. Or No, I told him watch Evil Dead, he told me watch Scream. Scream's good too. But Evil Dead was kind of the first big thing into horror that kind of hooked me in. Uh, I believe I saw the 2013 movie first. And then I saw the original from Sam Raimi, and uh, I've seen them all. I've seen all the, the original three. I've seen the uh, Evil Dead 2013, which is not a reboot or a remake. I saw, uh, you know, um, Evil Dead Rise, which is probably my favorite horror movie ever. Uh, and then, of course, Ash vs. Evil Dead Seasons 1, 2, 3, which, yes, we know that they're probably making Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 4. It's going to be, like, animated or something. That's, that's all well and good. But today we actually got new news about a new... Evil Dead movie, and uh, it's it's new, if you haven't figured that out. But uh, on Twitter, I was perousing the local X, whatever you want to call it now. I was Xing with people, and uh, it says, from Bloody Disgusting. So, I, I mean, at first I was like, ah, this could be BS, but no, it's real. Um, I'm going to completely F and butcher this guy's name. He's not American, so, and I am, so I can't speak anything other than American-ish. It, it says, Sebastian Venek. Sit, there's a little thing of the E, so Sebastian Venech, I don't know, Sebastian Venech, I'm just going to say that, uh, or Ven Venech, I don't know, what, you know what I mean, that guy. He's directing an official Evil Dead spin-off movie for Sam Raimi's Ghost House Pictures, and just a picture of Ellie, I don't know if you can even see that, but there you go. So, uh, yeah, we got a brand new director now. It seems like every single, you know, besides Sam Raimi doing the first, you know, three, uh, we've got Fede Alvarez, we've got, uh, who did the 2013, we've got this guy, and then the, the guy that made um, uh, Evil Dead Rise is Lee Cronin. So, you have a new person every time, which is cool, you know, and it's still being produced by Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell, who, of course, played Ash Williams. Uh, so, you know, we're getting the original people to kind of not necessarily direct it, but also kind of, you know, helm it, produce it. That kind of stuff. And uh, at first I was like, alright, this is, this sounds awesome. Because, uh, you know, if you haven't realized, Evil Dead 2013 came out, right? And then Evil Dead Rise came out in 2023. So between Evil Dead 2013 and Evil Dead Rise, we had to wait 10 years. Now, I didn't because I wasn't a fan when that 2013 movie released. I didn't know what it was. I sure as hell wasn't allowed to watch him. But now that I'm 25 and... You know, my parents really don't care what I'm watching, thank God, because I see good movies now, other movies that aren't PG-13 and all that, I'm able to kind of expand. Uh, you know, Evil Dead is definitely a hard R franchise, but it's a very good franchise, at least in my opinion, and millions of other people. But we had to wait, theoretically, ten years for the next freaking movie. Now, thank God Evil Dead Rise was a banger, because if it wasn't, I'd be really pissed off. But, you know, I know we got the TV show and all of that, you know, and all that but, you know, movie speaking at least, uh, it's been a while. So I'm very glad that, you know, it, it hasn't even been really a year. Because I think Evil Dead Rise came out in April of 2023. And it's, it's, it's like February of 2024. And we're already getting news. That's freaking crazy. Because, you know, we, we, we've gotten kind of uh, Bruce Campbell and Sam Raimi and kind of the big head honchos over at, I guess, Ghost House Pictures or whatever. Just the, the guys that make Evil Dead stuff. They were kind of saying, hey, you know, Evil Dead Rise has this kind of... Uh, I guess, spoiler alert, but the, the movie contains a book, right, obviously. And the Book of the Dead in that film, the Necronomicon, it is a, uh, you know, one of the books that's in the uh, um, Army of Darkness movie. I almost said Ash versus the Army, but it's just Army of Darkness. Uh, basically, Evil Dead 3. And in that film, we see Ash kind of see three different books. One book is from the trilogy. The second book is from Evil Dead 2013. And the third book is from you know, Evil Dead Rise. So that's how all these movies so far are connected. They're not reboots, they're not remakes, they're all connected in the same canon, thanks to the books, who can literally manipulate time and space. Most people don't have to know that, it's kind of weird, uh, but that is true. I, I, I did my research, that's a thing. It's all canon, and uh, this is going to be a spin-off, so it's not a sequel to Evil Dead Rise, so we're not going to see what happens to, uh, the, you know, the characters that survive in that film, but it is hopefully going to be canon, and it's going to be in the same kind of vein as the, you know, I don't want to say the original three or, you know, what have you, but it's going to be in the same kind of vein in that uh, Evil Dead zeitgeist, I guess. Now, at first I was like, all right, this is cool, but this could all be BS, you know what I mean? There's people that spread BS on Twitter literally every nanosecond of the day. It's like a cesspool of death, and 
as soon as I clicked on that, I hit the back button, uh, and I, I discovered, hey, I'm going to go see what Bruce Campbell's tweeting, or Xing. Maybe he's Xing someone over on Twitter. Let's see what he's doing. And he says, well, comma, I guess the demon is out of the cellar, dot, dot, dot. Yes, he should have said deadite. Come on. But, uh, yeah, I mean, again, I doubt you can see it. I'm just showing it right there. With that. It's legit. Uh, if you look up Bruce Campbell on Twitter, X, whatever, uh, he says, well, I guess the demon's out of the cellar. So, yeah, he literally confirmed that it's true. Uh, this is Sebastian Venick guy. Again, it's not how you say his name, but I don't know how to say his name. Uh, it is definitely uh, interesting. I don't know what the heck this guy's done. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of not really wanting to look into it because when, when Fede Alvarez was doing the 2013, I didn't know who that, I still really don't know who that guy is. I know he did that movie, but I haven't watched any of his other films. Same with Lee Cronin. I was like, all right, it's just the word Lee Cronin kind of sounds like a, like a Lovecraftian demon <laughs> kind of name, you know? So I was like, all right, that's cool. And, uh, he, again, Fede and Lee, I mean, they made some damn good movies. And, of course, Sam kind of kick-started it off and, and really made them good, too, but it's cool that... Every movie, it seems like we're getting a new director with a new vision that doesn't contradict anything, but kind of, you know, builds on top of that. And uh, it's good stuff, man. I'm excited. So I'm very glad we don't have to wait another 10 years until Evil Dead whatever, 4 or 5, what have you. But uh, it's cool. You know what I mean? We're getting more, hopefully, an animated uh, sequel to Season 3 of the Ash vs. Evil Dead show. We're getting this new movie. We don't know the title or we really don't know anything about it, just that it's happening and that this guy's directing it. Uh, but it is cool. You know what I mean? Bruce Campbell confirmed it, so it's a legitimate thing. Uh, it's not some clickbait dumb stuff. You know what I mean? It's a real thing, which is really, really cool. And uh, again, what really blew my mind is this, it just came out of nowhere. You know what I mean? It's just like Bruce is like, oh yeah, it's real. That's crazy. Because again, that wait for between, you know, the other two was so friggin' long, it, you know, literally 10 years, I'm like, we're gonna wait, you know, a long time. Because I remember there was the thing where, you know, Sam and, and Bruce and all them, they're like, we're gonna kind of, you know, kind of work with the books and we're gonna explore the book. And Sam's like writing a big, like, canon lore book about the book and about the whole franchise. So I'm glad that they're doing this because Evil Dead is such an iconic and a mate, and you know, you have to stomach gore, but it's a really good effing franchise. Like, it's really, really well done. It's not just silly goofs and blood. Like, it has a really good storyline, good comedy, good action, good horror. Uh, it's it's an all-around stellar franchise, and the fact that they're not just sleeping on it again for another friggin' decade is a good thing, in my opinion, and obviously millions of other fans, and uh, I'm excited to see what they do with this Evil Dead film, because, again, I, I kind of went into the franchise a little late. Uh, you know, I, I'm not going to say, oh, it was there from the beginning. Like, no. You know, I mean, I wasn't there for any of this stuff. I didn't, I didn't see the first Skywalker saga, which I guess would be the Phantom Menace. Um, I didn't, you know, I, my first Star Wars film was The Force Awakens. My first uh, Marvel movie was Iron Man three. You know, what I mean, I didn't really see any of these in theaters when they were beginning, but obviously it doesn't mean anything. But you, you know, for the people that have seen Evil Dead one, is from the beginning, uh, and have kind of you know stuck with it all this time and seen all the movies in theaters and saw the TV show and all that. I mean. It's a pretty big deal. And again, the only Evil Dead film I saw in theaters was Rise last year. Um, you know, because again, in 2015, I wasn't old enough to watch him. But it's going to be cool to see a new one in theaters, you know what I mean? And it's even better that I don't have to wait 10 years. I'm actually able to kind of, you know, follow this uh, substantially, with this, which is going to be pretty awesome. So tell me in the comments down below what you think about this new Evil Dead film. Have you seen any movies from this Sebastian guy? And, uh, you know, please tell me if his movies are any good. I might check them out. If you have seen them, what are you looking forward to for the new Evil Dead film? Are you excited? Do you want Ash to come back? I know Bruce Campbell said he's not. Um, he is in all the movies. He, 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 you know, he's in Evil Dead Rise. Uh, not physically, but, you know, you hear his voice, and it is Ash. Um, so he's in, he's in all the movies. But uh, we'll have to see. I know he's probably going to produce it and, and, you know, work on it and all that. But in terms of starring in it, I don't know. But it'll be cool. You know what I mean? I am excited for Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 4 animated. Please don't forget about that, guys. I know Sam's not watching this, but if Sam, if you watch it, don't freaking forget, all right? Please. We want to see a continuation of that cliffhanger. Um, I'm fine if it doesn't, because, again, I think it is a cliffhanger. I'm not going to ruin it, but it is a cliffhanger to that Season 3 ending. Um, if they don't do anything with it, I, I guess it still works, but I do want to see some kind of resolution happening with that. And we're also getting this new movie, so there's a lot of great stuff. As long as they're good movies, right? As long as it's good, I'm fine with it. It's like Star Wars. As long as it's good, I'm fine with it. Ever since Disney bought Star Wars, it's been, in my opinion, except for like maybe one one comic or you know one shot from one movie, it has legitimately, in my opinion, been flawless. Their execution of Star Wars, it's been flawless. Uh, they literally revitalized that franchise. And if Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell continue to do that, what Star Wars did, what Disney did to Star Wars, I guess Lucasfilm, because 
If you don't know, Disney doesn't make Star Wars. Lucasfilm does. Disney just legally owns it. Uh, but still, yeah, that's a loophole, I guess. People don't know that still. But Evil Dead, you know, really... I'm looking... There's the poster over there. Star Wars poster. You can't see it, but it's there. I, I really am excited to see what they do. And again, if they can kind of revitalize it or... Not, you know, not revitalize, revitalize it, but kind of just make it even more relevant. You know, because when Evil Dead 2013 came out, it was still kind of like a niche thing. It's like, oh yeah, it's popular, but not everyone in the world knows. It's not a household thing. And I think Evil Dead 2013... And especially Evil Dead Rise really kind of helped that to become more of a household name in the horror you know, community. And uh, I'm freaking pumped, man. I love this franchise to death. Uh, <laughs> and I really want to see what happens with it in the future. And hopefully, again, if it's good, we'll keep getting more and more spinoffs and sequels. And heck, maybe we'll get video games and, and books. I don't know, man. It's going to be pretty sick. But uh, tell me down below what you think about this Evil Dead news. And I can't wait to cover it and eventually watch it in theaters and review it. Thank you, guys. And we'll see you in the next video.